guys. Hey, Tapped guys. out, Neil. I got it. See what, what I did there? <laughs> what a guy. Thank you All so on much. basic cable. <laughs> Hello, right. everyone. I'm Jackie DeAngelo. I'm Taylor Riggs. And I'm Brian Brenberg. Welcome to the Big Money Show. We shall. Madison, thank you so much. Let's bring in Bonds today. We'll have you back on soon. We do know we're going to see some volatility ahead. Thanks so much. People, mm. certain people, you know, you need to do certain things. And again, the consumer's not going to totally pull back. So I would have to see more evidence in some of the other areas where we've looked to, before I say, yay, the consumer is here. But that is an interesting data mm -hmm. point. I spent a lot of time in Ubers right. this summer. Because you have to. And in fact, I took a tan. Uh, Yum Brands, that's like KFC. Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this. <laughs> different story for the consumers with them. What's up? Very different. So they're actually Man saying myself. That so you are. I love a good like crunch wrap supreme. I've never had it. What? Can you I get those know. vegetarian? Yeah, black beans only, no beef. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, a federal judge ruling against with us. Lydia, this would seem like it would have huge implications. Yeah, huge, wide-ranging implications for how we experience Internet search, for how these big tech companies are making their money, and also, I think, raising questions on whether big government is getting bigger in an effort to try to rein big tech in. So what happened in this case was that the judge found that Google is basically paying billions of dollars to other companies like Apple or Samsung to secure a spot on their devices as like the deferred search engine, $26 billion yeah. to these companies. The judge said, hey, you know, this is creating a monopoly, but why Google was doing it is because it gave them so much market space. 90% of searches in this country are executed yeah. on Google, hmm. and that is translating into big ad dollars, $146 billion dollars in 2021 alone. So that's why they don't want to give this up. But now that the court is saying you can't do that, that's illegal. It's raising questions about what changes we could see. We don't really know. The next phase of this trial, it's already been it's almost like Apple will be required to say, hey, user, Jackie, do you right. want your search Choice. executed on right. Microsoft Bing or do you want it on Google? You duck, tell duck, us. Go. Exactly. Duck, duck, go. <laughs> it's putting them back into the vocabulary, isn't it, today? So good for them. Attorney General but Bill Barr, who initiated this case. And now it's become a victory for the Biden DOJ. So one has to wonder, is this big big government getting bigger to reign in big tech? How exactly would former President Trump fall out on all of this if he were to comment on this today? To my knowledge, I don't believe he has. But he did recently have that encounter with Google. Remember all the flack mm -hmm. they caught when you had, you're trying to search for information yeah. about the he's been, right. he's been harmed by big tech. So it's not Absolutely. a surprise to me it came under his Justice Department. And it's not a surprise to me that the Biden-Harris administration will take the victory for it, but they're actually not for it for it because it helps them. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of this ping pong back and forth. Mm -hmm. right. It's going to impact a lot of other cases that are still pending. Meta, Amazon, you name it. It's kind of like the Magnificent Seven, frankly, right. um, that are all contending with this but we're certainly going to follow it we certainly will lydia great stuff thank you you got it meanwhile government can't save you if you're lucky it fills in your potholes let's just aim for that for a while lucky. if you're lucky <laughs> governor great stuff good to see you thanks a bunch good to see you guys today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. All right. Uh, meantime, we're still watching these markets rebounding. That Thursday, jobless claims, one of those fast right. uh, indicators. Danielle, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Uh, is my 49ers that are going to go all the way this year. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You're still getting me back for the Great cat. Great to see you. Thanks. Is that what's happening yeah. here? When oh, you mention dead cat balance, I come back at you with football, Jackie. Got it. I That's got the it. way this right. works. <laughs> Two hours to go. Uh, that? It was anticipated. We knew the data was weak. We knew there were headwinds. And investors were, were orderly about their selling. And so, you know, you've got a 615 a point gain on the Dow. You've got 359 points on the NASDAQ today. It'll probably bounce around a little bit, barring some major kind of event and slowly I think it will start to move higher once again even though um, as pointed out earlier when it comes to big tech 
the prices aren't cheap. It was David Bonson who said that. Yep. Uh, AI coming back a little bit today. Lucid. <laughs> I, I wish you would have talked about Lucid today. I don't know who got in the way of that, but there's like a little search going One on. One hint, it wasn't me. <laughs> You're telling our team that you cut me off when I was desperate to uh, talk Lucid. I was just That's so okay. eager to get to the next thing, but the Saudis are putting a lot of You're money You're eating off a time. Right? Let they her are. do it. You're forgiven, and I still love you. We'll do Taylor Swift hard eyes. Oh, we still you. didn't get to do Lucid, but it's up almost. 5%. We'll send it over to Charles. Maybe he will cover that stock. You know what? I got a better story on uh, the whole solar thing. It might, might take later in the show. Wait till you guys hear this okay. one. Love All it. right. Thanks a lot. Hey, good afternoon, everyone.